Hey everybody, hello and welcome. If you're new around here, hey, what's up? My name's Jim and I'm a reactor commentator guy on the internet. And in today's video, I'll be reacting, commentating on a song called, uh, is it Lari Shorty? Shorty? Lari Shorty. Yeah, so I, it's uh, Lari, Lari Shorty. Shahoti? I like Shorty better. Anyway, this is from uh, Nescafe Basement Season 1. Uh, some early work here from uh, the, the Nescafe. Uh, and this was released in 2012, so it's kind of an older one. All right, cool. I'm okay with taking a blast from the past. If you guys are new here and you haven't already, please consider uh, liking and subscribing. I do this sort of thing all the time. It greatly helps with the channel and the algorithm, and it just helps out a lot. So if, you, if you're having fun, like and subscribe. And before I begin, i got to tell you about some links down below. I do not take sponsorships. I do not take endorsements. Uh, this channel is a community endeavor and is completely funded by myself and everybody around me. And uh, I can't do it without you guys. We have the Discord link down there. If you want to join the community, you want to see what's coming up with reactions, uh, get involved with polls and, and, and live shows and whatnot, Discord is the best way to connect with the community. We're over 2,000 members strong right now. New members coming in every day. Check out the Discord. Get involved with what's going on around here. We also have the Twitch link down below as well. I do live streams three, four times a week. Uh, we do request shows, reaction shows, album reviews, uh, live concerts. Uh, my wife comes on. I'm starting to do some travel stuff, uh, and I'm doing it all with everybody live. So come check it out on Twitch. That's a very fast-growing community as well. Uh, so check that out if you want to be part of a live show. And then below that, we have our Patreon, and that's how I keep the lights on around here. Uh, through uh, Patreon. So if you feel like helping support and if you're having fun and you're enjoying the content and whatnot and you feel like throwing a couple bucks my way to help out, uh, Patreon's the absolute best way to do it. Everything gets reinvested. It all comes back to you guys uh, and it's kind of just how we keep the lights on. So check out the Patreon if you want some sneak peeks, some behind the scenes stuff, uh, some exclusive stuff, a more personalized experience and really to help out with the channel. And then below that, we have our brand new P.O. box. That's right. You can now send me stuff in the mail. I'll open it live or I'll open it up on a video. It'll be fun. Uh, over the last couple of months people have been sending me all kinds of crazy stuff from albums to snacks to all kinds of interesting stuff and it's been an absolute blast to open up with everybody live and just kind of like experience people's culture by just pulling something out of a box and actually touching it and seeing something kind of cool and having some commentary on that so if you want to send me something the peel box is down below all right <laughs> now that all of that's out of the way what do you say we get into Lori shorty i know that's not how you say it Shoti?
song is not going where I thought it was going. Man, I had a hard time predo- predicting this one. This one, uh, oh, stop there. There, you know, we'll let it play in the background. Uh, I can talk about it while I do this. Uh, this song started off with what sounded like a kind of, and I don't want to be disrespectful here, but it kind of reminded me of like a, a Counting Crows or like just like that s- song style you hear from like their early 2000s, late 90s. You know what I mean? Kind of like chill out band, you know, soft rock kind of thing. And I was a little worried at first when I heard like this, like, all right, well, there's a lot of people there, but I'm hearing like some very like basic chords and stuff like that. Just things that I'm not really used to with this level of production that I'm used to from hearing from music today in the past couple weeks. Uh, So I was a little worried 
I was a little worried that I was going to kind of be like this the entire way through, and I'm glad that it quickly turned into like this like trippy, like jam band-esque type of jam uh, for most of the song. Because I feel like if it would have stayed like this, it would have been like, all right, hey, this is a cool little head bobbing, bobbing, like cool nod song. But then they decided to switch things up completely and go full on jam band with us. And just, yeah, that's where it all kind of came together. It was special for me. Um, not to really like say like I, like, I don't really want to like be disrespectful for this first part or anything. I'm just saying I like I said, like the second half of the song a lot more. Uh, overall, though, yeah, really great song. I like the the various different singers they had. I like the different tones uh, that they all brought to it. Yeah, when it started here, which is really right at the when does it start? Like, what? The, they only give us like a minute and a half. <laughs> they give us less than a minute and a half of like that kind of cheesy early two thousand soft rock, and then they full on go into like ultimate jam band. At first, I thought this dude was gonna start doing like, kind of a funk lick right here, and it kind of is funk. But then it kind of started to develop this almost jam band bluesy type of vibe. And it's cool too because it's mostly done with just like, you know, for the most part, traditional instruments. You have your piano, you got like one little bongo, t or a couple little bongos there, uh, but nothing like too, too abstract as far as like a basic rock band would go, uh, besides the fact that they have a ton of musicians. Really enjoyed kind of the haunting vocals of the female vocalist here too. You know who she reminds me of? She reminds me of um, the Cranberries lead singer and some of like her softer stuff. Anyway, I don't want to talk about this song part for part, but I'm just going to say I really like to build this thing. I like where it kind of went. Uh, I like the expression of the instruments over time. I like the, the use of accent melodies and the flow of rhythms and how they're passed back and forth. Uh, I think it was very creatively done and done in a way that was just engaging and, and interesting to see through and through. Um, yeah, this one's pretty cool. It's good to hear some of like the earlier work from these guys as well. It's cool to see like how like the seasons have progressed and um, you know what kind of artists they've had on there and and even just like you know this song is from 2012, so they're going to be using songs and sounds that are kind of uh, trend. I don't want to say trending, but yeah, kind of trending at that time. Uh, and that's what I've noticed from Coke Studio and Nest Cafe and all of them is they kind of introduce like a more modern sound uh, mixed together with traditional and then their kind of take on it with some brilliant musicians attached to it. And this was kind of the sound of that era. You know what I mean? Like the, the first minute and 25 seconds of this song, that was kind of like the sound of that era, what was trending or popular at that time. But I'm glad that it turned into this. It got, it got kind of bluesy a little bit here. Um, yeah, dude, absolutely wild. <laughs> I was almost worried for this one. I was almost worried that I found one that I didn't enjoy. And then it just fully came out alive here. The drums came alive. I uh, really enjoyed the cymbal work as well. Yeah, he's doing it right here. Fun little cymbal play. Um, great guitar work as well. There's going to be like, what, three or four different guitars? Or two or three? Yeah, at least three. All right, I got to stop. I'll just watch this one again. <laughs> uh, vocalists were awesome as well. Like I said, I enjoyed the different cadence each one of these guys brought to the mix here. The different kind of vibe that they took on from their vo verse and whatnot. Um, it's cool, man. It it's just very, very cool. I'm glad that the song went in this direction. That's all I can say. What's those drums? Haunting. Haunting, right? All right, I gotta stop. I'll just watch this video again. But uh, guys, if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, spending a little bit of time, uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It helps out a ton. I truly appreciate it. We gotta keep this thing going, and the only way to do that and feed the algorithm is with liking and subscribing. So please, please do that if you're feeling kind and you want to see me do more of this kind of stuff. Anyway, that's gonna do it for me. You guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.